This is a presentation of OPC Systems Quick Starts for Visual Studio Windows Forms application. The Quick Starts templates are designed to get your first project off the ground in the shortest time possible. The Quick Start templates are easy to install. Go to Start, All Programs, OPCSystems.net, and expand the folder for Visual Studio 2010 templates. Select the template that you wish to install. There are currently three separate templates included with OPC Systems. One is Windows Forms MDI, which stands for Multiple Document Interface, and Windows Forms Tabbed, and there's also a WPF Tabbed. Let's select the Windows Form MDI. Select Install, and Close. The new template is now installed in Visual Studio 2010. Let's open Microsoft Visual Studio. Now that Visual Studio is open, select File, New Project, and OPC Systems Quick Start Tabbed Application. Notice the name in the bottom field. That can be changed to anything you like. We're going to leave it at the default for now. Visual Studio has created our new application and you'll notice in the Solution Explorer we have Form 1. Double click on Form 1. You'll notice that Form 1 has several tabs across the top of the form and each one of those tabs is individually labeled. Page 1, Page 2, Page 3, etc. There's also a Trend tab which has a predefined trend and an Alarm tab which has the alarm already defined for you. Let's select page 1 and notice at the top of each one of the pages 1 through 8 we have a label control which is set up as page 1 title. If you go to the properties windows you can edit the properties for the title in the text field. You can also change the font by selecting the font. That will allow you to change the font the font style and the size. Click OK. You can also change the font color by selecting the font color. If you have not already done so, we need to add the OPC Systems controls to the toolbox. So let's open the toolbox and underneath the General tab, right click and select Add Tab. Type the name OPC Systems. Beneath the OPC Systems tab, Right click again and select Choose Items. We are now presented with a Choose Toolbox Items menu. In the .NET Framework Components, scroll down until you reach the OPC Systems Alarm Control. Select the OPC Alarm Control name. Now scroll down until we get to the OPC Gauge Straight. Press your Shift key and select the name OPC Gauge Straight. Now press the spacebar to select all those items. We're going to add one more item. We're going to add the OPC Trend Control. Now select the checkbox next to the OPC Trend Control and press OK. We now have our OPC Systems Controls in our toolbox. Let's add a few OPC Systems Controls to page 1. Let's start out with the OPC Controls button. I'm going to draw that button onto the page and then you'll notice that you can move it wherever you want. And you can also resize by grabbing the grips. Let's set it about here. Let's go over to our Properties windows. Let's change the text on the button. We'll scroll down to Text and right now the text is OPC Controls button. Let's change that to Pump. Notice that our text has changed. We can also change the font size by changing that in the font property. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's change that to font size 16. Let's explore some of the OPC Systems properties. As you notice, we have many options here for OPC Systems. We can affect the background color we can enable or disable the control. We can affect the foreground color. We can also affect an image index, 
the location of the control and we can also affect whether it sets a value in the OPC system service. We can change the size, there is a tag property and also a text property and visibility. All of these items can be changed using OPC systems tags. Let's take a look at a few of the common ones. First let's go to our back color OPC systems tag and let's set that. Choose the browse button to the right. Select the local service and select the pump value and select OK. We now have our tag in our back color OPC systems tag property. Notice that the back color OPC systems bag quality color is set to yellow and false is set to red, true is set to green. We're going to leave these as their defaults, but you can select any color that you wish. Let's now scroll down to the set value. We're going to enable the set value by selecting true in the set value OPC systems. And then we're also going to select that same tag from our tag database as the pump value. Also notice that we can copy and paste that tag value. You don't need to use the browser every time. It just makes life a little bit easier. Now let's scroll down and select the text property. Under text OPC systems tag, I'm now going to paste that same value in there. Now let's look at the boolean false and boolean true properties. That's what would be displayed for our text on the button. So let's change that. Let's change the boolean false to pump is off. And let's change the boolean true to pump is on. Now let's run our application. To run your application, either press F5 or click on the green start debugging icon. Okay, our application is now running and our pump is off and the background is red. Let's take a look at the OPC systems configure application and see if that's true. When we select our pump from our tag list, we can see that it is set to false at this point. Let's move this over a little bit so that we can see the action here. I'm going to click on our OPC systems controls button and we will see the status change to true. And also over here we have the feedback by the button turning green and also the text changing to pump is on. So each time we click that it will change the value of the tag. Let's add an OPC systems label control to our application. Select the toolbox and then select the OPC controls label from the OPC systems tab. Let's add that right onto our form. Let's adjust the properties of our OPC systems label control that we've added. Let's set the font to a larger size. And let's go down and set the text property of the OPC systems tag. Let's browse our local tag database and select the random value. Select OK. And let's change the text OPC system format float property to one decimal place and give it a suffix of RPM. Now let's run our project again. Now we can see the value from the ramp tag coming into our application. Now let's take a look at another feature of the OPC Systems Quick Start templates. Already built into the application is a login form and the ability to log in using the login button at the top of the screen. Let's run our application and see how that works. If we select the login at the top left, we are presented with the login form. You must enter a username and a password Notice that once you have successfully logged in, the current user's name is displayed next to the login button. 
Notice also that the login button has now changed its text to log off. If we click that again, we now have logged off the system. Let's close our application and look at the tabs on the top. The tabs can be edited in a couple different ways. If we click on the arrow after selecting a tab area, we will see that we can easily add or remove a tab. The selected tab would be removed. If we click Add Tab, another tab is added to the end of the list. Let's select Remove here and look at our other options. As you notice, we have the Tab Control selected. Let's scroll down. Right here where it says Tab Pages, select the Browse button next to the collection. We now have the Tab Editor open. We can see each one of our tabs and edit each of the properties within each one of those tabs. Notice we can change the foreground color and also the text that's displayed on the tab. We can also add and remove tabs here. We can also change the order in which the tabs are ordered on the page. So let's say we want to move the alarm tab up to the beginning. Select the alarm tag and press the up arrow and that will move the alarm tab up in the list. Select OK and now our alarm is the first tab on our page. For more information on opcsystems.net products and features, please visit www.opcsystems.com. Thank you.